Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rajesh and I am back with another video. If you are confused between a air cooler and a water cooler, this video is literally for you. I have got this air cooler which is Cooler Master HyperX 212 and uh, pretty much good air cooler. As per my experience, I have used this couple of time on my couple of builds. I have been making a PC build from couple of years for my customer and uh, I use and I prefer this one. This is a really nice uh, air cooler so if you're really confused between our air cooler and a water cooler go for this one. Available for 3000 approx in Indian market and uh, the link would be in the description below. You can go ahead and check out the link and purchase it from there. So this video is divided into two parts. The one which you are watching right now, this is all about unboxing, basic information about this cooler. The second part would be installation and general information about this cooler, how to install it, what are the temperature after installing. So let us just go ahead and unbox this beautiful air cooler and let's see what we get inside. This air cooler supports almost every Intel uh, socket and AMD socket. So pretty much a decent deal and uh, let us just go ahead and unbox this beautiful air cooler. Alright, let me take you through the overview of this box. So here we have got uh, the box itself, Cooler Master logo over here, the LG support and the AMD socket support information over here. On the bottom we have Hyper 212X, the model number itself and it says few information continuous direct contact tunnel effect technology self lubricating pump bearing it really has a long lasting life it's approx 1 lakh 60 thousand hours which is a huge duration let me assume that the important information and the mrp the mrp in indian market is 3599 rupees however i've got it for 3000 rupees only and uh, the product is manufactured in taiwan okay just beneath that we have the specification and it says it supports almost every socket so starting with the intel intel lg2066 and then 2011 v3 2011 the 6th and 7th generation 1151 which is also 8th generation 4th generation which is 1150 lg1155 1156 1366 socket almost pretty much every socket it has got and uh, talking about the md md also every socket is almost included so yeah that's about the socket information about this beautiful cooler the heatsink weight is approx 492 gram which is not much but looks pretty beautiful and bulky on the other side there are multiple languages yeah, some instruction written over here general information about the heatsink and the cooler itself the manufacturing details over here on the bottom on the other side, a uh, beautiful logo of heatsink and this is already we have read. Let's just go ahead and open the box. Alright, on the top we get this box and this box contains a lot of stuff. A user manual. How to install it. A warranty information. So this is a bracket and it would be required to connect this heat sink on your motherboard. Some covers for that screw. Extra fan casing because you can also add secondary fan on that heatsink because it comes with one fan so extra for that a beautiful packing of this screws and you also get a thermal paste which is a really nice cooler master thank you for adding that thermal paste let me keep that aside and show you the heatsink itself We also get the back plate of that uh, heat sink. Pretty much smooth fan and a very big heat sink with a sticker over here. Just peel that. Here you have to apply the thermal paste and install it. 
uh, cable, a normal cable. So that V thing, can you see that V thing? It helps to circulate the air throughout this uh, heat sink uh, towers and uh, it will really help to distribute the air in V shape so it will the air will so the airflow will go through this towers and it will cool down the temperature of your CPU so that's about the unboxing all right that was a quick unboxing for this uh, heat sink and it's massive and uh, it's big it's massive it looks premium everything is good I've already shared their prices here it supports all the uh, Intel and AMD sockets so it's a very good decent deal the noise is less if you're planning to get a quite a CPU cooler go for it if in case uh, you don't want to overclock your CPU that much then this is a good option if you have i3 i5 or maybe i7 without the K version and this is a really really good CPU cooler until unless you don't overclock at a very high limit for the 7th generation or 8th generation then probably you should go for a bigger cooler however for the i3 i5 and i7 uh, this is a decent deal and uh, at a price of 3000 i really love that i have been using it on my customer uh, pc build and i'm really happy with the performance which i get for this so that's about the video i hope you have liked the video don't forget to subscribe as it really motivates me to make some more videos for you thank you for watching till the end stay happy and stay blessed if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. I would love to answer them. Thanks for watching.